Hi everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to Live to Thrive. So today I'm going to teach you one of my favorite res recipes of all time. It is so good, very, very easy, extremely portable. And you can, I mean, like I'm obsessed with these things. So they are Thai wraps and I have some fresh shrimp to put in them. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients that I have, but they're made with rice paper. So they're gluten-free and it's, it tricks your brain into thinking you're eating this delicious, really high carb wrap when you're not. And that's why I love these things. Plus they literally take, as everything else that I make, five minutes or less. So I'm gonna show you everything that I have here. So I have some cooked shrimp. That's what I'm gonna put in as my protein source. You can put chicken in. You don't have to put any sort of you know meat in at all. If you don't feel like it, you just stuff it with a bunch of veggie, veggies. But I have some shrimp for some protein. And then I have some seedless cucumbers cut up. They're the mini ones. So they're the perfect size. I highly recommend them. I have some fresh cilantro right here. I have some uh, slivered carrots. And then I have some avocado, okay. And the last thing that I have to put inside of them are, it's just some romaine lettuce that I've ripped up. Didn't even need to cut it up. And then I have the rice paper. So this is what I, it looks like. This is the brand that I got. I actually got it from the Asian grocery store, but if you go to any grocery store in the international, international food aisle, you'll be able to find it. They are pretty inexpensive. This has, I don't even know. I've had these forever. There's a lot in this pack. So they last a long time, which is awesome. So how you do this, right? This is really, really hard. You hear that <laughs> when you first get it. So what you all you have to do is have some warm water. So I have some warm water in a bowl and I'm just going to, to dip it in and leave it in the warm water for five seconds. So you just let it soak and that's going to get it nice and pliable so that we can actually wrap everything up inside of it and it's going to close and it's going to look like a nice wrap. So I'm just going to leave it for two, one. Okay. So now that it's been in there, I'm just going to take it out, let it drip. Okay, get all the water off as much as I can. I'm gonna put it here on a plate. So now you just stuff it with whatever you want. It's so awesome. So I'm gonna start with putting the cucumbers down. So just like you would with the burrito, you're gonna to wanna to put everything to one side. So I'm gonna start on the right side and stuff everything there so that I can roll it up. So I'm just gonna put like about four slices of the cucumber because you don't wanna overstuff this too much or it's really not gonna close. And then I'm gonna take the shredded carrots and I'm just gonna put that right on top. Just layering it all up, just like a burrito. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to put some fresh coriander or cilantro is the other name for that. So I just, I'm literally putting the whole thing in. I'm just taking the hard stem off. I'm not even really worrying about taking all the individual leaves off. I love cilantro, as you might already know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna load it up. And then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put some of the the romaine lettuce that I have here that I've just pulled apart and put some of that right on top. So it's already looking pretty good. This is what I'm at right now. Okay, this is what we're looking at here. And then from here, I'm gonna add the shrimp. So I'm gonna add about four pieces of shrimp. These are large, fully cooked shrimp. I've already pulled the tails off of it. There's been nothing done. There's, like I haven't sauteed them in, or in anything. All I did was dethaw them. They were already cooked when I bought them, which is awesome. I shop at Aldi FYI. They have the best things ever and they have the fully cooked shrimp. It's super affordable. So now I'm just gonna take a couple slices of avocado, very small, not even half of a half, about three slivers, and I'm just gonna put it one, two, three on top. So I'm just gonna show you, so good. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what it looks like right now. So this is what we're at without this falling over. <laughs> so everything's on the one side. So now, this is the trick. You don't wanna mess this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to roll this sucker up. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the little, uh, li the one end where I've already stuffed it, I'm gonna lift it up, and now I'm going to roll and try to keep it as tight as I can as I roll forward. So some things might wanna slip out of the side. <laughs> Just try to push it back in. And then we're gonna roll, trying to keep it as tight as we can, rolling, rolling, rolling until we get to the end. And then what I like to do is I like to take the sides and just tuck them under, fold them under so that it does not come out. It's really stretchy so it, it, and it will stick. So you just can see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm rolling and sticking it. And this is what it'll look like. That's it. It's all awesome, right? Like there's your wrap. And now what I like to do is I cut it in half. Just take a knife, cut it in half. 
and this is what you got. What you got, everything in there. Whoops, some stuff might fall out. <laughs> but this is it. I made this like right before the video started. This is what it looks like. I'll eat two of these, okay? That'll be my lunch. But now let's make the dipping sauce for it, okay? So for the dipping sauce over here, I have natural creamy peanut butter. There's been no sugar added in it. And then I have some hoisin sauce here. Okay, you can find this in the international foods aisle. This is something that you do not need to have. Um, I personally like the way it tastes and I've already have bought this in the past, so that's why I'm using it, but don't feel like you need this. Okay, you can just use the peanut butter. Soy sauce is a must. Okay, soy sauce. And then I have one garlic clove and I have some ginger. So let's make the dipping sauce. This dipping sauce is so freaking good. Okay, so let's start by putting the peanut butter in this mixing bowl. So what I've already done is I have one fourth of a cup. I'm just gonna pour it right in. I'm gonna use my fork to help get all of this out. So we're just gonna go right in the bowl for the dipping sauce. About a fourth of a cup of that. And really make sure that you're looking for a creamy peanut butter, but not one that has all the sugar and the added crap in it, all right? Let's make it as clean as we can. Okay, so that's in. Now, I'm going to add one tablespoon of the soy sauce. So I get low sodium. When I can find it, I'll just get the gluten-free one, but it's kind of hard to find sometimes. So one tablespoon, and then I'm gonna do one tablespoon of the hoisin sauce. Again, this is the one ingredient out of all of this. I'm gonna say that you can admit it if you just really can't find it, okay? So one tablespoon, but it's really not too difficult to find. In my book, I use it in a couple Asian re recipes. So if you, if you like Asian food, I would suggest just investing in it. Try to find it. It's actually pretty re more readily available than you might think. So I have one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon hoisin sauce. Then I have one clove of garlic. I love this garlic press, guys. This thing is, it just makes your life a thousand times easier. So I'm just gonna take the garlic clove I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna smash it, and it will be perfect. It's gonna save so much time. Now you don't have to spend forever cutting it up, right? We all know how annoying it is to cut garlic, but who doesn't love fresh garlic? So there it is. I just take the knife, scrape it in. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take ginger. Love this stuff, great for reducing inflammation, which I've been having some inflammation issues. So I, this is just on stock at all times. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna grate some fresh ginger right into it. You know, probably around a fourth of a, tea, of a tablespoon. Nothing too crazy, depending on how much you like it. I mean, if you wanna add more, go for it. It's a, it's a pungent flavor. Some people are more sensitive to it than others. I really like ginger, so I put probably more than most people might want. Okay, so I have that. And then again, what you're gonna have to do, probably do is take a knife and scrape to get it actually in the bowl, okay. So then from here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna whisk it. So I have a whisk and you're gonna just mix it around. If this is too thick, you're gonna want put about one to two tablespoons of warm water into it, but don't do that until you start to whisk it around. This is really thick, so that's what I'm gonna do. So luckily I already have the water here, my tablespoon. I'll start with one. Always start with the late least amount first Okay, see how that works? Because you can always add more in, right? That's like cooking 101. <laughs> we don't want to just bowl out and then we can't take back what we put in. So I'm going, this is a workout. Like this is gonna be your workout for the day right here. And I'm gonna, it's still too thick for my liking. So I'm gonna put one more tablespoon of warm water. It's so convenient because I already have this warm water here ready to go for the wrap. So I'm just going, I'm mixing it, I'm mixing it. And then it should be, uh, I'm trying to use the same spoon for everything because I don't like to wash a ton of dishes. <laughs> but it should be a thick consistency, but you know, something easy to dip it in. So not to the point where you literally cannot move anything around. And what I, you're probably gonna have to do, is, which is what I'm doing, you're gonna have to really dig into the whisk because it's not blending super well because it's getting stuck in my whisk right now. Problems, right? Hashtag chef problems. <laughs> if you've ever dealt with this, you know what I mean? This is why I try not to use the whisk all the time because it can be a pain in the butt. But I really don't feel like cleaning out the food processor, which is another thing that you can do. But this is probably the simplest, easiest way to get everything together and blending consistently is just to use a whisk. You have a food processor, you know, 
care about cleaning it, go for it. I'm just gonna finish it off by whisking it around with the spoon and this is what we got. So this is gonna be, you know, for a good two to three servings of wraps. There it is, that's what it's gonna look like when you're done. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. That is really, really freaking good. And all you do is you take your veggie wrap, got it right here, you can dip some in, eat it. Mm-hmm. So good, I'm telling you right now. Loaded with flavor. The peanut butter, of course, has added protein. So if you don't want to use shrimp or you don't have any other protein source on hand, don't worry. Got you covered right here with the peanut sauce. So it's perfect. It's a great flavor combination. You can always top it with some fresh crushed peanuts as well to make it look really fancy and special, right? But that was it. This is a really quick recipe. It's perfect for lunch throughout the week. You can make these advanced, store it in Tupperware in the fridge. Just if you're gonna stack them up, I suggest putting a piece of wax paper or parchment paper in between so that they don't stick together because this, this is very sticky. It's kind of sticking to the plate right now. So you're gonna wanna put something between them if you wanna make a bunch in advance and just stack them up in Tupperware and take them and eat them throughout the week. I wouldn't suggest making them more than like five days in advance, <laughs> but you know, two to three days in advance is perfect. So with that, let me know if you love this recipe. Please share it, please share this video, please like this video. I will post the blog and the full recipe of this next week, so keep a lookout for that. I'm about to post in the comment section the link to get my free snack guide, which also will then add you to my email list so you will know exactly when this recipe comes out and you can go get it and make it for yourself. So with that, I hope you guys have an amazing Monday. Please let me know if there's anything specific you want me to talk about, you want to hear about. I love suggestions. I'm doing this for you to bring value to your lives. So just let me know what you guys want to know more about. I'll keep making these quick recipes. Next week, we'll go into fitness, a little teaser into that. I'm going to now alternate fitness and food every week. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have a great Monday and I will speak to you soon. I'm going to get my eat on. <laughs> Whew, gotta walk around. Bye.